Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows script host error on your Windows computer. So when you're on your PC and you experience this, you get the script error. I'm going to show you how to fix it and they all have many to that. This one says that operation did not complete successfully because the file contains a virus or potential unwanted software. So we're going to trace this file and then we'll try deleting this file so that's what we're going to do in this video tutorial consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel and also don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials okay so to fix this we need to first trace this and this is on our drive c users add your tech and then app data so just go ahead and then open your windows let me drag this here so we go to our drive c and our drive c will go to users as you can see from here but make sure you go to view first and make sure hidden items are checked because if you uncheck this there are some files you will not see so you tra you track this we go to users so open users and then we go to what add your tech folder and this is going to vary so with your pc you have to open your pc name and here make sure hidden items are checked so you see all hidden items then we'll go to update open update and now we are supposed to go to local so open local and then from local we we'll go to temporal so this is just a temporal file go to temporal and now, now let's try and then trace this file so this file is no and then some long names so just track the file that you want to disable so in my case this is the file here the nozctb so this is the file actually giving me this error so the best for us is to delete this file so i can just right click on this and mostly this is even a temporal file so you can even delete every file over here so i can right click and then go ahead and then delete this file so i've actually deleted this file and then when i restart this pc i shouldn't be getting this error this is actually a temporal file so you can even go ahead and then even clear all from your computer okay so you can even clear all from here so these are temporal files those that are supposed to go just go ahead and then clear them i've deleted that file and then when i do this and i restart my computer the next time i shouldn't be getting this like subscribe for more of my youtube videos also let me know at the comment section if you need to subscribe to my youtube channel so this is how to actually get rid of windows script host error onto your windows computer till i come away again bye bye